Airbnb hosting feels like an uphill battle because you don't know these five concepts. That's right, one in 10 beginner hosts fail simply because they don't know these five concepts and you probably don't know them either. As I struggled with this uphill battle for my first Airbnb hosting when I started five years ago, I learned five principles that guided me to add 12 more properties and create a portfolio worth two million pounds. Six properties are which I own and seven which I lease from landlords while maintaining a five star rating throughout all the platforms. These same principles have the ability to free you from the shackles of one, misinformation and inconsistencies of income, you know, having terrible guest experience and help you grow your Airbnb portfolio to six figures and obviously make monthly profits which are reliable and sustainable. As you watch to the end of the video, it will become clearer and clearer how each concept plays an important role to your success. So okay, let's jump straight into it. The first thing most people think about when starting a business is how much money they can make and if the business is scalable. To be fair, you need to make sure everything is worth it, is worth your time and effort. But this type of thinking actually leads to a one-way road of failure. The primary reasons for any business should be to provide value. Everything after that is a byproduct. Airbnb is no different. Therefore, the first concept I had to understand was to optimize guest experience. Service accommodation Airbnb, it, it is a service-based business. You know, so it's very important to get guests satisfied, to have essential amenities in all the properties. You know, you need to have comfortable beds. You need to provide a good experience for the guests. I mean, the guests are coming to sleep. So if the, if someone wants to sleep, they want to have a good night's nice sleep. So you need to have like good, comfortable beds, like strong, durable furniture, which is going to satisfy the guests throughout their stay. So you also need to have additional amenities based on which types of guests you are attracting so it's important to have maybe if uh, it's luxury guests or holiday makers maybe they need coffee machines all these things these are like added bonuses to make their stay comfortable so the next thing is obviously to price your properties uh, the right way using dynamic pricing tools. So we use Wheelhouse in our business, but there are other dynamic pricing tools like uh, Price Labs, etc. So which could help you uh, price according to the market, which so your guests don't overpay you or underpay you. Another important thing, uh, number three, is having uh, efficient uh, operations. So by ha having op efficient operations, I'm talking about uh, streamline your whole check-in process, streamline your checkout process, and have all these processes uh, documented and in place. You want everything to be automated, so which makes it easy for the guests. So for example, if the guest wants to come to the property, you've told them in advance where they're gonna find the keys, uh, what to expect in the property. You've, you've given them a guest handbook, like to look for things, how to operate the microwave, the oven, the TV, etc. So all these things make the guest experience experience very good because you've given them uh, the user-friendly guide of how to do things. The other thing you need to do in your business is have uh, data-driven decisions. So with uh, data-driven decisions is you need to actually look what the competitors are doing, what the market in that particular area demands. So obviously this will be influenced by like people coming in to that particular place. They've stayed in various properties in that area. So you can tell what people who've stayed in that area, what they like and what they dislike. So if you've got that decision, you can actually implement those things in your property. The last thing which I'm gonna go into is uh, build a brand. Gone are the days where Airbnb was a simplified business where you could just put a, a bed, two bedside tables, and the Bible inside the bedside tables. Now everything has to stand out. So you need to actually have a brand which stands out. You know, you need to have a USP, a unique selling point for all your properties. So for our properties, Love Your Stays is our brand, it's our company name. But when you look at how we dress up all the themes of our properties, it's more or less the same and it's unique to other providers. So have a brand and to make your business unique as well because there is a lot of competition and for you to stand out of the competition, you need a strong brand which is gonna weather any time and which is gonna uh, last for a long time. So you need a durable brand. 
applying these concepts from the get-go will shortcut your journey from starting your climb at the bottom of the mountain to starting two-thirds along the way. If you want to go an extra mile and get intricate one-on-one -on -one advice, leverage my five years of experience to create tailor-made strategies specific to your circumstances, click on the link in the description and book a free call with me. Thank you.